Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Noble Soul and welcome to my playlist Draw to Centre. For those who saw my last video you will know that I decided about a month and a half ago that I wanted to become an artist and I wasn't joking. This is actually a dream I've had for several years now on and off and it's only now that I've really learned a little bit more about being an artist online that I see that it is possible to make a living as an artist. It really was difficult in my younger years. There were very few artists who were able to make a living out of it because pretty much all people could rely on was uh, galleries and things have changed so much now now that we can sell online and thanks to social media we can promote our work and it gives a lot of artists a chance to be successful and it also gives buyers you know a chance to buy nice quality work at an affordable price that won't break the bank some of you may already follow me on Instagram. If not, feel free to follow me. My Instagram name is noble.soul. Or you'll be able to find my work with the hashtag draw to center. So this is a sad work that I drew two weeks after the mosque attacks, the terrorist attacks in New Zealand. New Zealand is where I'm from. So I felt like there was, I just needed to pay my respect and the best way for me to do that I felt was through artwork. So this picture, I hope you can see it clearly, is of a Muslim lady who is mourning the loss of her loved ones and the 50 stars around her represent the lives that were lost on March the 15th. I've connected all of these stars just to represent that they're still connected in spirit. You will see the crescent moon around her, which represents the Muslim faith or the Muslim symbol. And around that, you will see the colors of the New Zealand flag, just to show that we're all there, we're all one, we're all connected. So I tried to actually auction this off last week. And all the money will go to a good cause. Haven't had much luck yet, so that's okay. If it sells, it sells. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But just my way to show my respect, I guess. Moving on to some of my other work. So I started off with what was going to be a 30-day Mandela challenge. I had never drawn any Mandelas before. And yet I decided that this is what I want to do for a living. I just knew. And yeah, I talk a little bit more about this in my last video. I'll share the link in my description below. So I started off with... This one being my first ever Mandela creation. It's not that great. Hence why I haven't actually bothered selling it. Or listing it online because it doesn't reach my standards of quality but it was good practice and then this one is what i drew on day two i'll just skip to my favorite ones again Going back to the terrible terrorist attacks that happened on the 15th of March, I drew this on the day of the attack, completely oblivious to what was happening. As you can see by the date, I only found out just as I was literally signing this about four or five hours later of the terrible attack that had happened in Christchurch. And I just find it interesting that I drew so many love hearts on this particular day. The world needed more love that day, that's for sure. And this one, okay, so the writing is upside down, but it actually is this way up. This was my first more detailed Mandela that I drew, black and white. I 
and another black and white one. Spidey's web, I call this one. And this one is the very first one that I am going to be selling to a customer in New Zealand. So very exciting to have someone who wants to buy my work. So I kind of lasted 11 days and then I gave up on drawing every single day because I needed to focus on creating a quality business plan. And that is because I am trying to get a 5,000 New Zealand dollars startup grant for my business. My copy had to be approved by my business advisor and then she passed it through to the assessor who I also met with for an hour and a half long chat in a cafe and he gave me some really good advice and he was right I had not aimed high enough with my prices so I changed my whole cash flow forecast spent another 40 hours almost on editing the plan because I am such a perfectionist and I wanted it to look great and sound great and the first copy I did was probably actually quite good but then I overdid it I overanalyzed and I put way too much info in there so I got rid of a lot of that and I just made it a lot sharper and crisp and more professional okay so these are my most recent works this one is well, it doesn't have a title yet, but it's black, white, and grey. And then this is the one I'm probably most proud of so far. And I titled it Draw to Center, just as I did this playlist, because I decided that Draw to Center is what I want the motto to be for my business. I decided to actually draw this mandala from the outside in. Normally you start from the inside out, but I felt inspired to literally draw to center. And the other reason I want my motto or my mission statement to be draw to center is because yoga and art for me is all about drawing to center, returning back to your inner stillness, to your true self, and also draw to center means draw to center yourself so i just think it's a perfect short and sweet statement to describe what it is that i do and it is also what i use in all of my art hashtags now so yeah just look up draw to center if you just want to see my work only and if you want to follow me on instagram it's noble.soul and not there you'll just be able to see all of my behind the scenes work as well on my art so if you would like to follow me on my channel i'd love to have you join me i've only got 25 followers so far so the more the merrier and i've got quite a few playlists going at the moment but my main focus of this channel will be my artwork and also yoga classes i want my yoga classes on this channel to really be a mindful practice a calming practice so I'm just going to slow things down especially since it's winter time it's nice well in New Zealand it's winter so it's nice for us to just really become still and yeah yoga doesn't always have to be really and you know energetic it's great sometimes but it's also nice to do the quieter more yin style of yoga so I think that's really what I'm going to focus on on this channel in the coming weeks and months and on this art playlist I'm going to give you just a bit more of a behind the scenes look of how my brand new art career is going good or bad I want to share it with you on this channel and you'll also learn some tips I've been learning a lot of tips along the way so I'm keen to share this knowledge on to all of you I'm going to probably next week I'm going to share a wee video to show you my working space which is currently my living room and I also have a wee sort of office space in the back there which I will use for my print orders.
I'm not going to show you how my living room looks just yet because it's, well, it's getting better. I'm tidying it up a little bit for this video, but there's a lot of decluttering to do. So I'm going to do that and then I will show you how cozy my little air space is. And I'll show you that you really don't need that much room in order to follow your dreams of being an artist. Thank you for watching this video and I can't wait to share more videos with you in the coming weeks, months and maybe even years. If you also want to check out my Etsy shop, feel free to do so. All the work that I showed you or most of the work I showed you is available for sale on Etsy. So you can also find a wee link to my Etsy shop in the description below just to make things nice and easy. Thanks guys, I look forward to seeing you again next Friday. Bye for now.